We welcome you to another round of Going Forward. And you have to wonder, what did the Lord do on his darkest day? Is it fair to say that the day that the Lord was getting ready to go to the cross is the darkest day, the day that God turned his back on his own son? See, the Bible teaches us here that he asked his disciples one thing for him in his darkest day. They did not charge the leaders. They did not attack the army. He said the following things in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. And then he told them, he said, make sure that you enter not into temptation. For the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know, we have this Facebook kind of mentality. Yeah, I'm going to pray. Let's all pray. Let's pray about this. Let's pray about that. But do we actually follow through? You see, our flesh keeps us from actually praying. We need to actually pray. That's what God is asking us to do when he says pray without ceasing. He's actually saying to us, watch and pray. Now, he was coming to a dark day. And he even asked Peter this question in verse 40. What? Could you not watch with me one hour? You can't. You realize if, if our life is so busy we can't find time to pray, then there are some things in our life that need to be pulled out. There are some things in our life that have become important that have no business being important in our lives. But the Bible teaches us very clearly that what God wanted from his disciples was not a bodyguard, it was not physical protection, he just wanted somebody to watch and pray. At that time the communion that they were having was with God and he needed that fellowship as a man to be encouraged. I am asking God's people to watch and pray. Let's get beyond living in the news, staying scared to death, or mad at the governor because we aren't out doing what we want to do, or mad at the president, or mad at our civil liberties. Instead of those things, let's just get on our knees. Maybe this is the greatest thing that God has ever done for us, and that he takes us from our duties to our knees the things that we think are important to the things that really are important. Here's this request, and I ask you as we prepare for five days in May, I ask you to do this. Watch.